Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Psukim of Bitochen, the verses that teach us how to strengthen our Bitochen. And we're holding today in Tehillim, verse number Chof Aleph Ches, chapter 21, verse 8. And the Pasuk says, Ki HaMelech Beiteach Ba'ashem. The king trusts in Hashem. Ubechesed El Yoyim Bal Yimait. And in Hashem's great kindness, that what? Bal Yimait, he will not falter. Since that the king trusts in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he trusts that Hashem is going to have tremendous kindness coming from above, therefore Bal Timait is not going to falter. So the Mepharshim say over here the following idea. The Metzudah's David writes, Ba'avur she'tiyeh b'chayna ba'ashem, since that the bitach and the trust and the reliance that the king has is on HaKadosh Baruch Hu, lazer lo yimot, because of that, in the merit of that, in the schus of the fact that a person is b'teich ba'ashem, lo yimot, they're not going to falter. Bitochen is a merit. Bitochen is something that we're obligated to work on to reach a level of trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where we rely on HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we believe that Hashem takes care of everything. And the more that a person reaches those levels of Bitochen and they place their trust and their faith in Hashem, so that becomes the schos, that becomes the merit that they have. Lo lo because of that, They're not going to falter, they're not going to stumble. The king is going out to battle, he has armies, he has wars that he has to fight, he has lands that he has to conquer, he has nations that he has to destroy. He can't trust in himself and the size of his army. Rather, he must trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And if he trusts in Hashem, that itself will be the merit that he needs to be able to win the battle and not to falter. Says the Radak, the following, Ki HaMelech ein lo'i bitochen v'simcha ela b'cho. My trust and my joy is only in you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. V'lo'i b'roiv ha'mayim. Not because of my tremendous army or all of my royal wealth or all of the ministers or the servants that I have in my palace and my kingdom. Rather, ein lo'i bitochen v'simcha ela b'cho. I place all of my trust. And all of my joy and my happiness is with you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And this is something else that we've spoken about many times. Bitochen in HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bring a person to Simcha, will bring them to happiness. Because when I trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I know that I have nothing at all to worry about. I'm in the hands of the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam, Avinu Shemayim, my Father in Heaven, who loves me, who cares about me, who only wants the best. Why should I worry? Why should I be with angst? Why should I be anxious? I don't have to, and nothing should be bothering me because I know that I'm in the faithful hands of the Rebbe Yenusha'ilam. And he continues, Ubechesed el yoyin. What is this great chesed that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does? Yesh loy bitochin ki el yoyin al kol koyu. The trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is above everything. It's in HaKadosh Baruch Hu's hands to save a person. And whoever desires to have HaKadosh Baruch Hu in his, in his life and close to him, HaKadosh Baruch Hu can do good for them. Whether he does a lot of good or even a little bit. Therefore the king trusts in Hashem. I'm not going to be lacking anything. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you are in charge of salvation. You are the one that will take care of me in all situations. And therefore, Lo'yimayin, I'm not going to falter, I'm not going to stumble, I'm not going to fall, I'm not going to fail, because you and Hashem are in charge. Va'amru b'chesed, ki komashu meitim l'bri'yosav, every ounce of good that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does with His creations, it's all chesed, it's all kindness, loving kindness from the Rebbein Nishayim. As David HaMelech acknowledges over here in Tehillim, do I deserve anything? I don't deserve anything. Am I worthy of all of the goodness that I find in my life, all the bracha that is in my life? I'm not worthy of it. I haven't done anything that is so redeeming and valuable in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that it should come. But there's one thing, 
that every person can have, which will be the merits that will bring about our Kodesh Baruch Hu's kindness, his goodness, his chesed, his mercy, his rachamim, bitochen. A person who trusts in Hashem and allows our Kodesh Baruch Hu to see deep in their heart, sees in my actions, sees in my reactions to events, hears in my speech the things that I talk about. Does a person say, Be'ezras Hashem, when a person is embarking on an endeavor, whether it be business, whether it be with a doctor, whether it be with marriage, whether it be with Shaduchim, does he say that I'm going to the doctor and the doctor should have the kaya, should have the abilities to find what's wrong with me? Be'ezras Hashem, with the help of Hashem. When he's going along a journey, does he say his tefillah haderech, his special prayer of the wayfarer's, traveler's prayer, because he he knows that whether or not I'm going to reach from point A to point B, it's all in the hands of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Does he place his trust in Hashem? Yeah, you've flown on a plane a thousand times. Yes, you've driven from here to there five thousand times. Nevertheless, if you're going on a journey, we invoke HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name, asking him for protection. Does a person talk like that? A person who speaks with the shame Hashem, Shogar Befiv, like Yosef HaTzadik, who is in Mitzrayim, surrounded by the Mitzrayim, the Egyptians, he, there wasn't a single Jewish soul that was in sight. Nevertheless, when he had to speak to Paroi, he was constantly invoking HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name. And he said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will help me. Hashem got me here quickly. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that's in charge of all the dreams. When a person speaks like that and they show HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that my faith is in you, Hashem, then Hashem says, in the merits of your bitachin, because that you trust in me and you put your faith and your reliance in me so much, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Uba yimait, you're not going to falter, you're not going to stumble. I, the Rebbein Shailam, I will take care of all of your needs and it will be bechesed, it will be with so much kindness and so much love and so much compassion. I will fill you up and take care of all that you need in your life. Have a wonderful day.